Hi, Cy here from Music Radar. Today I'm joined by Luke Edwards from Korg. He's a product specialist. And today we're taking a look at the Prologue. The Prologue. So this is this is obviously big news for you guys. Yeah. You've now, you, you, you came out with the Mini Log, which was huge, everyone loved that. Then the Monologue a year later, and now, this is, prologue time. Yeah, this is like the culmination of our analog journey, I guess I'm yeah, calling it. Yeah. So um, now you're calling this, this is your flagship, right? This is, yeah. yes, absolutely. So this is the pro Prologue 16. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a Prologue 8. Okay. So the difference is being the 16 here, we've got five octaves. Yeah. Um, and the Prologue 8 has four octaves. Okay. Um, and it's missing this low frequency compressor, which we'll talk about a little oh, bit later. Okay. But otherwise, they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. Yeah. So we've got all bells and whistles version, we've got 64 the keys. One, yeah. So, um, without further ado, let's get stuck into some of the sounds. Let's There's do it. tons of good stuff here. Yeah, so, um, it's incredible. I'll let, I'll let you um, freestyle it. Yeah, okay. So, um, well, let's just have a listen first of all, and then we can move through and have a look at what's going on. Okay. First thing you notice about that, you've got the oscilloscope uh -huh. still from the yeah. other um, the other products we just mentioned, the mini log and the monologue. So mm -hmm. you get that real visual feedback about what you're doing. So when you play a note, you can really see the waveform. Yeah, it's so good. See how it develops. It's so good. Yeah, yeah it's so cool. Um, and you might have noticed as well on this uh, keyboard we have basically a bitimbral mode, so yep. we can do splits and layers or crossfade between sounds as okay. well now, which we didn't have the ability to do before. Right. So that just gives you more um, flexibility from a sound design yeah. and, and a performance, performance yeah. point of view as cool, well. Yeah. So you've got that sound down there, so it kind of rumble, mm -hmm. and then you've got this nice kind of fizzy string sound over the top, for instance. Yeah. So that's in split mode, but yeah. as we go through, I'll show you some of the other modes as well. Brilliant. So. The big thing for us, though, about this synth is the fact it has this multi-engine in there. So as well as your amazing analog kind of sounds we've heard from the Minilog, we've yeah. expanded on that, um, but we've now got this multi-engine. So what that allows you to do is have either um, noise waveforms or VPM and FM style sounds, yeah, cool. which you can then obviously merge with the analog oscillators, yeah, yeah. but you've also got a user section. Ah. So, uh, it comes preloaded with one waveform in there, but you can design your own and right. actually load them in. Load and them in. That's going to be incredible. We, and how are you loading them in? Uh, it's via some software which isn't actually available at launch, but it will be available in the okay. next month or two. And that'll be USB? It'll be USB straight yeah. into your computer, Mac yeah. and PC. Brilliant. And it's just going to that's oh, going to open the floodgates for, yeah, exactly. Lovely. Mind blown. Yeah, yeah, like that. So yeah, for, so for instance, on this particular patch here, uh -huh. we're, if we just listen to the kind of FM style yeah. waveforms. We can just go through using this type mm -hmm. to all sorts of different kind of soundscapes. Right through to regular kind of saw waves and sine waves and stuff as well. Yeah. So you can you can kind of use it as a third oscillator, a regular oscillator yeah. if you want, or you can take it in a whole new direction. New direction. Yeah. Get crazy. You're really mad. Lovely. Um, of course, we've got just great analog sounds. We've got a new filter in here as well. Okay. So it's a different character from, say, the mini log and the monolog. They all right. have their own distinct personalities, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is really nice. A reason to own them all. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, great kind of sounds, pad type sounds like this. What's nice about these different types of oscillators is that it makes it gives you great flexibility for designing your sounds. So it's not just analog, it's not just digital. You can kind of merge the two together uh -huh. in really interesting yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've also changed the design of the the pitch bend and the mod control. So from they the were, they, yeah, they were on the minute. It was like a lever, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so here we've got two wheels. Yeah. So we've got a regular pitch bend, mm -hmm. but we've also got a mod wheel now, yeah. which is assignable to anything you want. Um, and of course, the benefit of that is you can kind of feel your way through the sound and then leave it in a fixed position. Yeah. Probably just obviously on the side of the filter, but you can assign how. 
how much of the filter you want to alter it by. So oh, it's right, not just okay. the same as using the cutoff yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. You can set the, the positive and negative values oh, as you need to. Cool. Um, yeah, so if you, that, that was a very kind of analog sounding sound, but you've got also very spiky kind of digital sounds like this. <laughs> So you've got all that kind of thing, yeah, so yeah. You, it's just so versatile. A lovely bit of Airwolf there. Yeah, it's and very then... nice. Yeah, it's, and if you want to go, you know, it's sort of like um, the Super Saw kind of route, you've got yeah. that sort of great sound in here as well. Because we're in unison mode here with these yeah. voice modes, it enables me to detune oh, that okay. That's cool. really quickly. Yeah. So it literally is like the Super Saw where it's just spread across and tuned down. Yeah. So you can cycle between poly, mono, unison, and chord. Yeah. yeah. So what this knob does in different modes is in unison it will do the detune. Yeah. In poly, it will do the same thing. But in mono, for instance, it will add a sub oscillator. And then in chord mode, if I just show you that, that's quite interesting. What you do is you, if I've got a sound like this one, for instance, I'm in chord mode now. With this, it'll actually change the chord it's playing and it'll tell you what it is on the screen. Oh, right. So oh, if cool. I wanted a fifth, for example, yeah. or a minor chord, or let's get something juicy up, minor, major seven. Some really interesting. Wow. It's really, like really immediate because that usually that sort of stuff is usually sort of buried in a couple of sort of menu it dives, is. isn't and it, it? And it's really good for people who don't. You're just experimenting with sound. They don't necessarily understand all of the harmony behind it. Yeah. But you can actually learn from that as well. Yeah, yeah. So straight it's away. Really yeah. nice. Um, uh, arpeggiator. We've got built in as well. Okay. So um, let's take this sound as an example here. Um, so it's turned turn on, as you can see. You can also latch it just by holding that. Oh, no, that's and flashing. And that's flashing. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's latched. Lovely. And using these controls, you can change the tempo, you can set the range, and again, it'll tell you here what the range is. Uh, yeah, and the octaves three. and types. So it's full rise and full random. So on. Oh, cool. So you've got lots of different settings for that as well. Brilliant. Let's move on. So yeah, we talked in the beginning about it being by timbrel. Yeah. So here I'm now in layer mode for this particular sound. So what it enables us to do is say have something arpeggiated with something that isn't, for instance, like this. So we've got a nice pad. And then that spiky thing over the top. Yeah. So that's one option, or you could have say a split keyboard. Yeah. So you've got a bass down here. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. We're in, we're in, we're in. I won't sit. I nearly did, I nearly did. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Because um, I, uh, I can't. Oh, okay, <laughs> um, Or things like, similar sort of idea, but maybe a pad. to something different so it's actually just bringing in a second oscillator oh right nice. yeah so it changes the mix and sound Lovely. yeah so from a performance point of view it's kind of bringing it to that next level yeah, from the yeah. mini log for instance yeah, definitely. obviously more keys full size keys yeah it's actually the same keyboard action we've got on the chronos as well oh right so it's our if you like flagship action as yeah well. yeah very so, popular yeah absolutely um and one thing i haven't mentioned yet are the effects Oh, cool. So you've heard the reverbs and everything are really mm. nice, but um, just to give you an idea, if I just hold down a chord and then sort of release it, you'll hear this nice shimmering kind of reverb you've got inside. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Well, I'm a so, sucker for a shimmer, I must yeah, say. Yeah, it's really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And you've got um, time and uh, yeah, depth time and depth well, parameter, yeah. and yeah. you can change uh, via the edit mode. You can actually change the type of reverb as well. So whether it's a room hall or something more expansive like that as yeah. well. Okay. And the same thing for the mod effects as well. You've got um, chorus flanger and some of the okay. Let's have a listen to some some of that. Yeah. So if I go into here and then go to edit mode, at the end here you've got your type there, and then you can yeah. just change that. Okay. And then you can select what type of instrument, what type of effect. Okay. It is. Yeah. So cycle with it's chorus, uh, ensemble, yeah. phaser, flanger. flanger, and then this will change the type of oh, right, effect yeah. it is. So you've got a lot of parameters there, sort of buried yeah. a little bit deeper if you want to go yeah. go more. But then you've got the immediacy of these controls yeah. as well. So super flexible Absolutely. and immediate at the same time. That's, so that's right, good. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Um, you've also got this low frequency compressor, which we've not talked about. So no, yeah. you've got this beautiful little VU meter on there. Which gives you some again visual feedback about yeah. what's going on, and you can just turn that on and off, and you can adjust the gain as well. Uh, so that just brings a lot. It's like a, a boosted low frequency compressor, so it gives you a lot more bottom end. Bottom end, yeah. yeah so it's a yeah. nice punch. Absolutely. So, so yeah, yeah. There we are. Accentuating the fatness. This thing's got all the tools. It really within, has. isn't it? It's and it looks amazing. It I does. Mean, these wooden ends. Are and they are beautiful. where they should be now. They are. They've you, moved. You put them on the sides. Yeah, taken from at the last. Back. They're on yeah. the side now. And not to say that the mini log and the monolog weren't nice, but that's where they should be. Yeah, this is good. Very proper. Well all yeah. aluminium chassis with brushed aluminium. Yeah. So nice build quality is yeah. incredible. Mm. Um, connections wise, everything you'd expect really. So we've got a stereo out, we've got a headphone out, and then down this end we've got sync in and out, so it'll talk nicely to the Volkers. To the mini log, the monologue, yeah, um, yeah. all of our analog stuff. Yeah. Um, Again, another reason to own everything. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they all play nicely together. Yeah, yes. they do. Yeah. Uh, you've also got MIDI in and out. Uh -huh. um, you've got two pedal inputs as well. Okay. So I'm using the sustain pedal here, but you can also put a volume pedal if, if you want to into yeah. it, which is quite Great. useful. Uh, you've got USB, of course, for the uh -huh. editor that we were talking about before. Yeah. So. Um, and that's the only thing you'll be doing over USB. Yes. Yeah. Just. Um, yeah, and of course you can transmit MIDI into your DAW yeah, yeah, by that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, so uh, be one cable for all. <coughs> That's right. That's cool. And all of these will transmit and receive uh, oh, great. CCs as well. So Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna press you for for the price. I know it's not confirmed yet, but what sort of ballpark figure are we talking We're looking at uh, we don't know exactly, um, but it's gonna be between sort of sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred pounds. We're not sure yet, but it's gonna be around that price. It's very and obviously the price obviously the prologue eight will be less than that. Yes as well. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Great stuff. So watch this space. Watch this space, indeed. Yeah. Um, I'm. I just want to hear more. <laughs> so um, please play us some more demos. Yeah, let's hear some Go more. Go through sounds. some more stuff. I particularly like this one. So we've got a filter here on the mod wheel, and then a split keyboard. So we've got a different kind of sound. Element. I found another patch actually the other day, which is really nice. So I'm still really finding my way through this. Yeah, one. yeah. Um, I think it was number 10 or 15, somewhere in the beginning. So basically, there's 250 sounds presets in there. Oh, right. And you've got 500 slots. So Use the slots ready to go. Yeah, so you've you got <coughs> 250 free, but you can overwrite the presets as well. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah. you've got the choice. Yeah, this one's really nice. So it's kind of like a soundscaping kind of sound. Which you can manipulate with this, which is amazing. But then if you can you can actually play it more musically as well. Complex stuff going there on. Is. That's it's, it's amazing for from a performance point of view, but from, from sound design, yeah, and kind of I can really imagine it being used on like film soundtracks. And Absolutely, stuff like that. yeah, it's all over it. You're going to shift a few of these, I think. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I might put myself down for one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell the uh, the wife. Um, <laughs> 
So anyway, Luke, thanks so much. Hopefully that's no the uh, the prologue in the bag and uh, shows you exactly what it, what's going on with it. Um, we hope to um, get some more video content with this as soon as we can, because we just can't wait to have another play. Um, so yeah, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, wherever you're seeing this video right now. And do check out musicradar.com for all the latest news, reviews, and tutorials. Um, and for all, for all that now, cheers. Thank you. No